Today I'm going to show you my brand new nuke yard. Hello, I'm Griffey, so I'm going to go in here we dog everything, beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well now. Bit of a first insight into this new site, and she's a beauty, and this is going to be my new nuke yard. So I'm going to keep all my nukes that I make, I'm going to make them on this site, and the nukes we have for sale, they're going to be located here. So I'm going to show you on the site talk about what we've done here and what my plans are so we've got a nice stone track I've got the pickup just down there drive up here an area to park so this actually this stone area goes right round in a circle so I can drive in with a trailer come in this way and then drive right out I don't need to turn around or drive in the field at all make a mess everything's on hard standing and there's a big 12 foot gate here perfect access get my wheelbar on everything in here if I want to and everything's real easy so hanging on timber posts that gate was here already so that hasn't cost anything and here we are look at this so we got the Mel the digger driver made this hedge bank right around the site and this is actually an old footprint of an old welsh cottage that used to be here and we've kept the stone as a bit of a feature so we're, we can remember what used to be here, a part of that is still here even though most of the stone uh, has been taken away over the years and used elsewhere um, the stone that's here was originally part of an old Welsh cottage and I think that history is really good and something we should keep so the idea is in the next couple of weeks we're going to come here and we're going to plant a hedgerow native hedgerow I've got the, I've got the plants already we're going to plant that right up across the entire hedge so when the nukes are down here they're obviously in the shed in the shade and shelter already the wind's not get gonna get to them but when we work in the fields here then that a bit of hedge is going to be that extra protection to people in the field more than anything more than the bees because the stands are going to be uh, quite low the bees or the nukes are going to be out of the wind anyway so how many nukes can i fit you that's the big question now i think and i'm planning to keep about 40 nukes here that's my idea may be able to keep more i'm going to keep the nukes in one big full circle that's what my plan is here and i think we can easily get 40 in here no problem and 40 on a site sounds like a lot but work that out 40 nukes if they were in full size hives that's just 20 hives and that is what i keep roughly per site that's going to fit uh, perfectly but yeah one of the main reasons i've moved my nuke yard from the farm and that's due to biosecurity very very worried about foul brood ever hitting me again i've had it once i don't want it again i was overstocked at the farm between my honey production hives and my nukes the crop there was down last year and i'm putting that down to too many bees on one site so if i move all the nukes here if for whatever reason the farm gets foul brood then the nuke yard is separate and that's not that's this area is still going to be okay not under restriction where if everything you throw 30 odd hives plus 40 odd nukes into one site if that area goes down with disease that's big trouble for me so um, i'm doing this for disease reasons more than anything and this just keeps the nuke yard self-contained separate um the only bees i'll be bringing in here are queens really and i'll be using the bees on this site to create splits so i'm not going to be bringing any bees from outside this site to this nuke yard to keep uh, disease uh, well to keep disease away and to reduce all 
uh, the, all the risks that I can actually reduce. Obviously, uh, this nuke yard being separate to all my other sites doesn't necessarily mean it can't get disease. Someone on the other side of the field or a few fields away could have bees and introduce it that way. But I'm trying everything I can within my power to not get disease and having a self-contained nuke yard, I think that's uh, a good thing to do and I think it's well worth doing. So hopefully the next video we'll be down here planting a native hedgerow right around this site and that's going to transform the way it looks. I think it looks amazing right now, but it's going to look way, way better once we get the hedge in place. Maybe plant some daffodils around the entire perimeter as well. So when we're down here working, we've got some flowers, um, not necessarily for the bees, but something for us to see visually and make us feel a bit better. And yeah, that's it then. We need to bring some hive signs down. I actually need to build more. I need to build enough to hold 40 nukes and get this site ready to go hopefully by middle of may this site will be finished hedge in place bee stands in place and nukes move down here and that uh, should be pretty good and obviously get this site registered on bee base if you're not on bee base make sure you register your site on bee base very important you do that and that's it for this video just a quick one showing you my new purpose built nuke yard i think it's probably one of the best looking nuke yards out there a lot of things going for it here secluded no public access the only access in here is up that track that gate down there is locked so security is pretty good no one's gonna get stung here really because there's nothing here apart from livestock fields and it'd be just pretty much me in here with sheep anyway and yeah, nothing else to say apart from if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.